Hey what's up guys, today I'll be showing you how to get a cape for the new Minecraft update and the first step is you gotta make sure you have the new Minecraft launcher which is this one right here and if you don't have it then you're going to need it so go to their website minecraft.net slash download which is this website right here and download it for Windows if you're on the Mac download it for Mac if you're on Linux or other, download it for that. So once you've downloaded the new Minecraft launcher, make sure you log in. Enter in your Minecraft username. Your password. And click on play right here. It's pretty much going to update your .minecraft. It's going to add all the new sounds, everything that was added, and everything that's new. Okay, so once you have Minecraft's new updated version, you can close Minecraft. Go back into your launcher, and we're going to create a new profile. The way you do that is you click on New Profile right here. And right here where it says Profile Name, you can name it whatever you want, but I'm going to name it MC for Minecraft Capes. And once you have the name for your profile, click on Save Profile right here. And now if you go up here, you're going to see your profile and default. Profile and default. Default is pretty much your profile without any mods. And this one is going to be the one with the mods. Okay, so now you can log out and exit the uh, launcher. And in your search bar, type percent app data percent. Open that up. Click on dot Minecraft and click on the versions folder. And you're going to see a 1.61 folder. And what you need to do here is make sure you make a new folder, right click, new folder. You can name it whatever you want, but I'm going to name it 1.6.1 MC because the current version is 1.61 and MC is because that's what I named my profile and I don't want to get everything mixed up. So once you've done that, you can press enter or just click and click on the original 1.6 folder right here. You should see two files a jar file and a JSON file which is this bottom one so what you need to do is copy these two right click and then copy and paste them on your modded folder over here MC open right click and paste there you go and this jar file will be pretty much your mods jar file so you can add mods after mods after mods okay so the next step is to rename your jar right click rename and I'm going to rename it MC because that's what I named the folder and that's what I named my profile. So make sure you do that for your jar. You also need to do it for the JSON file. Rename MC. There you go. And you're also going to need a program called Notepad++, which is this program right here. Notepad++. I'll put a link to it in the description. You do need it because we're going to edit the JSON file and it won't work with Notepad. So you do need Notepad++. So once you've downloaded Notepad++, click on your JSON file, right click, and then click on edit with Notepad++. There you go. And right here in between the one and the quote right there, make sure you name it MC or whatever name you used right here. Once again, in between the one and the quote, make sure you name it whatever you named it over here. And then once you've done that, make sure you go File, Save. Once again, in between the one, write whatever you named your jar and your JSON, and then click on File and then Save. So once you've done that, you can exit this, you can exit Notepad, you can exit the Minecraft.net, and let's go into MC Capes. I'll put a link to it in the description and click on download now right here and make sure you click on mod download for minecraft 1.61 right here wait five seconds and then click on skip add and there you go open it up drag it to the side now go back into your 1.6 mc right here click on it Right click and open it with WinRAR or if you're using 7-Zip, open it with that. 
And before you do anything, make sure you delete metainf because if you don't delete it, the mod's not going to work. Delete it. There you go. And then just copy this file into your jar. There you go. Now you can exit MC Capes, the jar. Now you can exit this and exit this. Now go back into MC Capes and enter in your Minecraft username. There you go. Next. And if it's your first time, it's going to ask for a password. This is where you choose your own password. Do not put the password that you use to log into Minecraft. Make a separate password for this site. So once you've done that, make sure you log in and go into Cape Gallery and choose whichever cape you want. Let's go with most used. And uh, let's see, which one do I want? Um, Let's go with the Superman. So once you've chosen a cape, make sure you click on use this cape. Click on that. And click on save option right here. And now you have option save successfully, meaning you have the cape. And now you should be good. If you want to upload your own cape, it tells you right here to upload a new cape. 22 by 17 and PNG. That's if you want to add your own cape. Um, but that's pretty much it. Option save successfully. Make sure you log out. Now you can exit MC Capes. Open up your Minecraft. And before you do anything, make sure you go onto Profile. Click on MC. Click on Edit Profile. And right here where it says Use Version, click on 1.6 MC because that's the modded folder and that's what you want. So click on that. Click on Save Profile. Make sure you log in. your password and make sure you click on play there you go single player create a world create new world all right there we go press f5 and there's the cape as you can see got my superman cape and um, yeah that's pretty much it guys if you're still having trouble if you have any questions, concerns, please write it in the comments below. If I don't get to your message, you're free to send me a private message and I will help you with that. But that's pretty much it for me. I hope this tutorial helped. I'll put the steps by steps in the uh, description. And um, yeah, thanks for watching and I will see you guys next time.